The Walker Arts Center Teen Arts Council, also known as WAGTAC, is a group of students from around the Twin Cities Metro. Members meet weekly after school to identify opportunities in the Walker's program schedule for young people to connect to social issues and ideas that relate to young people. They partner with artists on creative projects and create content in print, in person, and on the web that represents a youth voice in the institution. I'm Haley. I'm Emma. My name is Finnegan. Uh, I'm Alexis. I'm Ingrid Top Johnson. My name is Natalia Salinas. My name is Maria Argentiano. I'm Riley Patrick. I'm Chloe Fuyu. I'm Pablo Helm Hernandez. I'm Calvin Hofferman. My name is Owen Dennehy. I am Lexi Herman. So the collector's edition scene was uh, kind of in concordance with our fall event, which was our uh, It's Happening, Klaus Oldenburg themed student open house. And Oldenburg, um, as an artist, liked to collect a lot of things, and a lot of those things had certain themes, and so we decided to ask uh, teens and, and uh, just anyone, I guess, from around the community to give us a picture of the stuff that they collect. We worked with a variety of artists this year, including uh, Andy Doucette in the beginning of the year, where he helped us uh, in the process of creating our first event, It's Happening. What we did with him was we sort of took the Hennepin Avenue windows and we made a gigantic paper flat version of the board game Mousetrap. His work to me seemed a lot about recreating everyday situations in sort of like this fantastic way, which I really liked because for me that's sort of how memory works. It's happening was such an amazing experience. Like um, Club Vader was definitely my favorite part because um, like I just loved how surprising, how surprised everyone was. It was like a club and we had bouncers and velvet rope and a curtain and you got in line to go in there and then once you got in there there was DJs and they were playing music and you danced the whole way up. Each time the doors open we had a different scenario. I, I, I did, I was up there quite a few times and I got to do this one where I just screamed like for the whole two minutes. Like the Tipperary Art Museum, you know people, there's still adults there um, looking at art there seriously and also you know loud music banging and stuff like that. It was like a house party. It was really cool and interesting how we like transformed the space. It was just cool to see the poster that I designed up all over the city and it was so exciting even like running around to the different stations that night just to see the smiles on everyone's faces, just to see all the joy that was emanating from everyone. It was just exciting and that's that's why I was that's why I'm on WACTAC. That those reactions from others, that engagement. We, we did this sort of interesting, uh, sort of introspective experiment with uh, Katie Backler. Um, she had us draw sort of maps of either of like a childhood memory or like, you know, your neighborhood or something like that, something that sticks with you. And we mapped things based on how we're emotionally attached to them, which is a really uh, interesting way of thinking. You know, meeting Lexa Walsh was really cool. Just. Uh, at the Mill City Museum and sort of thinking about museums and stuff, we had a little discussion with her about museums we'd like to see or sort of how museums work. And I, I did the intro, which is like a claymation video. Um, and I, I thought that was really fun that I got to build that to put my own art into something that we did on the council. Uh, I really like, you know, outer space and I like babies and stuff and that was all in there. A good memory that I had was uh, the open mic uh, at Intermedia Arts. Uh, me and a friend uh, played some, I played bass and he played guitar and like that was my first time uh, performing on bass and it was just, it was, it was a little nerve wracking to be sitting up in front of people like that. but. In the end, like, I felt good that I did it. Maybe it's, perhaps it's just because I'm a very food-oriented person, but Pop to the Top was one of my favorite projects just because um, I thought it really got at, like, teendom because, I mean, everybody loves to eat. Um, 
Well, every time I say, you should go to a Wax Hack event, I mean, somebody will invariably ask me, will there be food? And um, I just love how high intensity, like the, it, there was competition, but it wasn't like um, too serious. You know, people could laugh at themselves and it was totally experimental. So one of my favorite experiences with engagement this year was with artist Jim Hodges. We got to see him when his uh, Give More Than You Take exhibition was being put up in February. Here we are in the gallery, Jim Hodges Gallery, not even curated yet. Stuff still like on the floor, you know, for Jim to say, mm, no, like the chi here is like not right yet. With Wack Tag, when we get to meet artists, like that's their art, you know, and so it really takes that whole barrier down. Well, Jim Hodges' work wasn't necessarily, he didn't, we didn't go up to a piece and he didn't say like, hey kids, this piece is about discovery, you know, it's, it was about, it's really, it's about discovering through other people's experiences and that's what Jim really did for us. We wanted to work on sort of a bigger project with him so we um, tied that into an event at our spring event Double Take where it was called Make a Stranger Laugh. We had two people come into the lecture room who were strangers and they would try to make each other laugh and it became a really interesting sort of look at human interaction and how people interact almost more than being focused on humor. And joy is something that you know can communicate in any language um, and you know we learn how to laugh before we learn how to talk and so we started working on this project that w was like collaborative with him and he gave us kind of feedback through like Skype because he does live in New York and now we, we made these stickers that we're planning to put around the city. Wax Tech is a process. It's a process of compromise, of collaboration, um, process of figuring out what we want to do, where we want to go, process of brainstorming, of refining ideas, of coming up, I don't know, with new ways to get at something or a new ways to connect with our audience or connect to a larger audience.